Well, shalom there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jace in the place and you are here. And if you're new, so excited to have you. Take a hot second to subscribe because we are on the road to a thousand subscribers by June. And last time I checked, it is now May. So we gotta, we gotta pipe it up. Tell a friend, send a friend because you don't want to miss out on all of this foolishness. <laughs> so today, um, special thanks to Aesthetics Ella Angel because um, they had asked me to go through my collection like a while ago, way back when, when um, Moby Dick was a minnow, as one of my close friends always says. <laughs> and also, um, JJA um, had also asked in one of the recent videos if I could um, go through my homeworks um, candles and kind of, you know, give you guys a little bit of info about that. So I think that's where we're gonna start. And thanks y'all for asking. Like, I mean, if there's anything particular that you're curious about behind me that you want me to talk about, like feel free to put it on down in the comments. Um, today I am feeling a whole lot better because my allergies have been insane. I was like bedridden for a couple of days, but it's cool. I'm alive somehow, I don't know. Uh, but I am rocking the new Target collection, um, uh, Bentida Agua or I don't know, and then some things I see it and it says Agua Bendita, but I don't know, I could be making that up in my head. But anyhow, this is the little romper um, in a size medium and like you'll be able to, um, <laughs> you'll be able to see my little ham hock thighs when I probably stand up to pick up some of these candles, but it's super comfortable, has pockets, that's the important thing. Now, let's get to these candles. So um, you'll notice two are missing and I will tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Um, so with the Homeworks candles, I, I like them. If I had to compare them to Bath and Body Works, I feel like they're kind of, I mean, a candle is a candle, but is it really though? Is it really? Um, so I feel like for me, Homeworks is like the bougie older sister um, of Bath and Body Works candles. Like if I had to give you a comparison uh, with these, like they just, I don't know, they're bigger, I think, or at least the packaging is bigger. Oh yeah, they're bigger, they're 18 ounces. Wow, that's hilarious. And you know, I just feel like Harry Slack can just like, he spends a little extra time and a little zhuzh on, um, you know, coming up with a nice little candle sleeve and then the lids and like sometimes you can look and get a gold lid. I don't even know if this one actually came with a gold lid or if I just put that up there. Anyhow, um, with Homeworks candles, oh, this is going to sound so bad. So I love their candle holders and I just love the way that it looks. But I will say that I feel like it's true that, you know, with these candles, they're not gonna blow you out of a room. At, like I have yet to come across one that has just like whooped me into shape in my open concept um, kitchen living room area. You know, maybe in a bedroom or like a small office room, I think it would be pretty fragrant, but I have yet to come across one that's like, has as much slap in the face as mahogany teak wood or fresh cut lilacs. Like I, I haven't been that blown away, but it like, it gives me personally enough for like me to enjoy it. Um, if I'm in the kitchen, I can smell it, you know, all in the kitchen area. If I go to the living room, it's a different situation if I don't have the candle over there. Um, but you know, everybody's different. Everyone wants different things. So anyways, this is Christmas cappuccino. Um, I love this guy. And I guess for the sake of time, like maybe I'll try to not have the gift of gab <laughs> today. Um, and if you see me going over there, I'm just setting them nicely on top of <laughs> this little uh, uh, little bin that I have. Um, this one here is blueberry cheesecake and oh, love blueberry cheesecake. Like normally I'm not a tart um, blueberry person at all. Um, but it's just something about that one. It just, oh, it just really tickles my soul. Um, this one is banana maple pancake. Delicious. Um, so as I had said before, there's some, uh, that you see missing and that's because they're upstairs and I'm currently burning them. Um, but oh, this one, like, I mean, I don't know if you can see the little like walnuts or I think they're walnuts. Yeah. The, the little walnuts on top. 
um, of the pancakes and like it's just literally what it smells like and it's so delicious. Uh, definitely recommend that one with the, let's see, oh, the Golden Harvest. So this one, I remember burning this one in the fall. It was really nice. It's like, I don't know, it gives you like that, you know, your apple cider with a little dash of cinnamon. Like, I feel like that's one thing with Homeworks candles is that they really do smell like what they look like or what they're saying. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a couple of like woody ones out there that I saw in Nordstrom Rack that was like, absolutely not. <laughs> this is not what it is. It's false advertisement. Uh, but for the most part, they smell like what they say they are. Uh, this one here is Mistletoe Magic. I have not burned this one. Um, oh, it smells so good. It smells very similar to Fresh Balsam. Um, let's see. The notes for this one is black currant, pine needles, and fir balsam, and pomelo. Pomelo? Pomelo. Maybe a pomelo. Yeah, I feel like pomelo. That sounds right. I don't know. I need hooked on phonics clearly, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll survive. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this one smells really nice. I ordered it and like, y'all, I don't know what was going on. I was out here being this little old lady ordering off of QVC and it was just taking forever for my candles to arrive. And by the time it arrived, like Christmas was in a day or two, I was already bumping other candles. It was like, it'll wait until next year. Like, mm -mm. um, this one, oh, so this one is Hanoki Woods and Bamboo. Um, this one smells amazing. I really like this one. Um, it, the best way I could describe it is like, if you went to Arizona and it just like, I don't know. And if you haven't been to Arizona, it just like, it smells like what I imagine if you went to like a fancy desert that had a whole bunch of cacti or cactuses. I don't know. One of those words. Um, if they had like a whole bunch of those out there, but they were like, you know, the bougie ones, like, it, and you're just like surrounded and somebody's like, oh, would you like to drink from the waters of Lake Minnetonka? And you're like, yes, please. I want this spiritual experience and I want to feel enlightened and I want to align all my chakras. And like, that's the vibe that I get from this one. Um, and this, shockingly, I... Like, somebody, please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But this one, like, if you see me have another one. Oh, yeah, I have another one here, Cactus um, Ivy. Those I only found in um, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And it's wild. I don't know if, like, maybe they made a small batch and something happened or, like, I don't know what went on. But if you see that one, definitely pick it up. Um, this here is, let's see, Strawberry Glaze Cupcake. I haven't burnt this one yet. I picked it up um, because they have this cute little, ooh, it, it, it really does smell like strawberry, <laughs> a strawberry uh, little cupcake. Like, it's wild. I don't know how they like nail the scent so well. Um, but I haven't burnt this one yet because I purchased it to go, um, I purchased it right around, I think around Christmas time, yeah. And it was for my birthday. Um, because, and of course I don't have it up here, but there's this cute, um, candle holder that it, that, um, came with it and it has like all these little cupcakes around it. Oh, swoon my heart. And, um, yeah, but of course by the time it came, I was like, oh, I don't want to burn it. And then it's like the only one that I have. So I don't know. I'm not brave. Um, the thing about me with like this collection back here. Most of these candles are either brand new or I've warmed them. Um, and then I'll have like a separate stash of ones that I'm willing to like burn or just like warm and whatever happens. Like once they have the scent, they're done. Um, but I just like to do it that way. So it's, um, you know, so then like you have your little archive here and the other ones, you're just like, light them up, baby. Like let's let it do what it do. Um, so this one is Strawberry Patch and clearly from the TJ Maxx st sticker for $16.99. I picked it up from there. This one smells really nice. Now, I, I know, like, you guys know me. Y'all know I'm a freshie lover. And it, it seriously, it seriously just smells like if you went to Food Lion or Harris Teeter. Because we, you definitely didn't go to Aldi. Because Lord knows if you did two days later, them little heifers finna rot. But we're not going to go there. 
I'm gonna let, let that sleeping dog lie. Um, still love you, Aldi. But um, <laughs> with this, it, like, it literally smells like a patch of, um, or not a patch, but like a little basket of um, strawberries. I burned it a little bit last like summer-ish fall and it was really nice. And, and like, that's crazy for me to say when I'm not a huge um, fruity person. I don't know, it's something about like the super fruits and the tropicals and I'm just like, eh, it's okay, but. Mm. Um, this one is Poppy Fields. This one kind of just smells like, you know, nice little happy flowers. Um, I want to say that I have a second one of these um, and I've warmed it and it, you know, it just, I don't know, it's just kind of like, oh, it's a nice little flower, like whoop de whoop, nothing to write home about. If I saw it again, I probably wouldn't pick up another one because I just, yeah, it's not bad, but it's not earth shattering. Um, oh, this is a lily of the valley. And I remember watching, um, <laughs> watching the QVC. I can't believe that I'm telling you guys that was on QVC. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I was watching the thing on QVC on TV and they were like, yeah, this is the real lily of the valley. Like, you know, all them other people say that they got Lily of the Valley, but this is the real deal. This is like walking into a field. It's not the artificial. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Cause I, I don't even know what Lily of the Valley is really gonna like be like and how I personally would know the difference between an artificial and like a for real, for real one, considering I hardly ever want to go outside, especially with that pollen situation out there, not going outside. But I mean, it just, I hate to sound like a basic person, but it just smells like flowers to me. Like it just smells like if you go outside and you're like walking by your neighbor's yard that has like all the nice flowers and stuff out because they actually take care of it and they have a green thumb and not kill everything that comes in their house like I do. Um, that's what it smells like to me. It really sm it smells like spring and it's floral, but it's not like slap you in the face floral. Um, I, I don't think that I've burned this one yet, but I will probably burn it um, with Mother's Day coming up. It'll be the perfect time to light her up, honey, light her up. All right, oh, hibiscus flower. Now I know I, I literally just said like, oh, I don't care for tropicals and fruit, but here I go with a tropical one. But don't judge me, okay? Sometimes we can contradict ourselves. Um, This one, it smells tropical, but it's like, it's like it's holding back. Um, kind of like, I guess I need to come up with a term for it instead of describing it as, oh, you know, when something's cold, it doesn't smell as fragrant as it would if it were warm or room temperature. Cause like, that's what it's giving me. It's giving me like, you had some nice fancy flowers that somebody delivered and you put a bit of the fridge or the freezer to like preserve them. And then you took them out a week afterwards and you're like, oh, wow, I guess they really did ship me these flowers from um, Hawaii or Bali. Like, I don't know, that's the vibe that I get from these. And <laughs> honestly, some of them, um, like, so I think this one came with, Mm, no, it wasn't this candle holder because that's the, this one came with the uh, eucalyptus oak candle. Oh, no, I don't see it. It must be um, down over here in a box, but don't worry, don't worry. I will show you all my um, homework candle holders. If you like, I'll put them all together and um, go over them. It's just that like, there's so much and so little room. Oh, we already went over this one. Yeah, another. Oh, so I had two of them. Well, dang. That's crazy. Well, I guess I can burn one now. Very well. Um, but yeah, it's like so much stuff over here. So little room. So, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I got put some some other place. Oh, and so these are just repeats. Another uh, Christmas cappuccino. Um, I really like this one and clearly you can see that considering that I've already burnt one and recycled the glass jar and I showed you one in the very beginning and here's three more 
and usually they come in two, so there's probably one more hiding somewhere in my backup stash. Um, what is my obsession with Christmas cappuccino? My obsession is, it just, I don't know guys, like I love Christmas. I don't know if I told you all that, but Christmas is my favorite holiday and it's my favorite season. And it like, well, it's one of my favorite seasons because I love fall too. If I had to choose between fall and Christmas, I just, uh, I just, I just, I, I can't, don't, don't ask me to do it. I'm not finna be able to do it. Um, sorry. I'm just putting these, they put these little guys back. Um, did we go over, we went over this one, no? Oh wait, mistletoe magic. Oh yeah. So this one's another backup one. See, see, this is what happens when you don't whip when you don't allow yourself to be yourself and whip out your little excel sheet with your inventory as the little nerd that you are and you're just like no nah, i'm just gonna sit here and chat with my friends like we just we just gonna figure it out as we go so i apologize to the people who are like girl please get the get it but i'm just gonna let you know that we're freestyling so i'm sorry feel free to watch me at two times speed um, so <laughs> this next one is hot cider donut. Oh, it is. Oops. Oh, so delicious. Like it literally just smells like a hot, fresh pack of donuts. I don't know. This is going to sound a little, a little off the chain, but I'm just going to say it doesn't smell like if you got a fresh, uh, a fresh dozen of Krispy Kreme donuts. Cause like, don't get me wrong. If you get them with the hot light on, you, I can probably sit there and eat the whole dozen in one sitting. Don't judge. I digress. But these, like, oh, it just smells like, I don't know, like if you went and got like the fancy uh, donuts from like a homemade donut shop and they put the little cinnamon or the little powdered sugar on there and stuff. And you can't like, you have to buy the, the donuts individually. You can't do like... Oh, you know, I know your donuts is three dollars a donut, but you know, can you hook me up with a dozen for twelve? I mean, a dozen for twenty-four? And they like, no, you, you got to pay the full price for each donut because these donuts are precious. Like, it, it, it smells like it came from that kind of place or that kind of bakery or uh, pastoria. Um. Oh wait, no, pastor. Sorry, I'm like, I'm trying to work on bringing my Spanish back, but clearly, it's a struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. Um, so this is Limoncello Cupcake. Okay, this is an all-star. All-star. Pick this one up at um, TJ Maxx and Homeworks. And I just, oh, it gives me like that fresh lemon vibe, like amazing for the kitchen. Uh, but it is also has like a little hint of sweetness. Not too sweet, just enough, not too tart just enough like amazing to warm um, or to light up in your kitchen. Amazing. What I say, oh, I can't even like, then I'm like, mm, what do I think? It, like that one compared to ice lemon pound cake? Uh, I don't know, I didn't, in my mind they smell different. Maybe I'll do a comparison one day and then let you guys know, but Limoncello Cupcake has a special place in my heart. I mean, it just looks so cute. Um, so let's see. All right. We already went over hot cider donut. I already did limoncello cupcake and puppy fields. Ooh, hey, beach grass. Hello there, beach grass. Mm. It smells like being at the beach, not too much sandalwood. Um, it, it just I'm trying to think of anything else I can compare it to. Like this is one that you light and warm um, in your guest room when you have like people um, coming to your house that like your spouse knows, but you don't really know or like a friend of a friend or, you know, that first holiday where some of the family is staying with you at your place. This is the one that you burn um, in the in the bedroom to like give them like a nice relaxing like neutral can't be offensive kind of scent like that's what beach grass is for sure oh sure 
Um, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Quick intermission. Um, this here is, just in case anyone's seen it and is like, what is that? Um, it's a little fisherman's hat and I picked it up. Um, it was either TJ Maxx or like one of those little crafty stores. Um, but it's just so cute and it reminds me of my granddaddy Gus and it says like fishing up here. And so, I don't know, I just picked it up because you know how like sometimes when um, family members or like friends and loved ones, like they pass on, but you see something one day and it just like triggers a memory that you had with them and stuff. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, I've got to get it. Like I need it. So it just hangs out with the little homeworks candles. Um, let's see. Next up is frozen balsam. And this one smells like more... <laughs> This is going to sound crazy. This one's more balsamy or like more piney, more woody than the mistletoe magic one. So if you're like, oh man, like I love me some balsam, then like this is it. If you're like, I wanted to smell like Christmas, but like not too much of the pine, not too much of the balsam, I don't want a headache, then mistletoe magic is your thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I was going to have like all this room over here. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, or I guess that was a false hope. All right, this is Cactus and Ivy. I have not burned this one yet. It, it smells interesting. Uh, you know, I, I, I could imagine that this is what a cactus smells like. You know, and like it almost kind of like has a little bit of a eucalyptus -y vibe. Let me look at the notes before. Mm. Cactus flower, ivy vine, aloe water, and fountain grass. So, yeah, I don't know where I got the eucalyptus from, but, like, I'm thinking maybe it's the aloe that I'm thinking that I'm smelling that I'm falsely accused of being eucalyptus. This one, I don't know. I haven't burnt it yet, so I can't, you know, I can't really say. I know, I know. And then you're like, girl. Why, if you, if you over here struggling or uh, which you're trying to fix your face as you're talking about it, then like, why did you buy it? I was a victim of trying to have all the collection and purchasing a set of the collection, irregardless to the smell. And I was foolish. I was young and dumb and I was lying to myself. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, I'll try it. I gotta be open to new things and I'm I'm working on it. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Anyways, eucalyptus oak, way more my speed. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Oh, it smells so good. It's just like, oh, it's like that herbs, but like, hey, wake up. It's time to live your best life kind of thing or like, Ooh, relax, get your aromatherapy vibe on. Like, that's just, I don't know, that's just the vibe that it gives me. Love this one. And this one um, came with this. No, wait, yes. Okay, <laughs> this one came with this uh, candle holder here that I ordered off QVC. Um, like a, I don't know, probably the 82-year-old woman that I am in my heart. Um, but don't worry. Okay. Okay. We're narrowing it down. We're getting a little lower. I'm going to stand up and pull some more of them over here. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me and see me. Um, let's see. Okay. So we did these. Um, well, I'll, let, I'll save these for last because that's a whole nother story. All right. So we did strawberry patch. Oh, okay. Pineapple mousse. Oh, love this one. I don't even have to smell it. Um, it just smells like, if you're from the South, then, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but it smells like, um, oh man, it, uh, a pig picking cake. I don't know why I was taking a second for it to come to my brain when like, my mom is known for her pig picking cakes. But um, yes, that is what this smells like. If you don't know what a pig picking cake is, um, it is pineapple chunks, mandarin oranges, like a little pack of Jello pudding, the box cake mix, and uh, you know, and then all the directions on the box cake mix. 
I forget what else. And then the icing is like a Cool Whip icing with like the pineapple chunks in there. Sometimes you can be fancy and put some different kind of nuts in it too and just like whip it up, whipping up that work. And like, it kind of looks similar to this, but oh, child, talk about a childhood memory unlocked. Like, oh, pig pancake. Um, but basically it's just like, it's pineapple but it's cakey and it's just the right balance where it's like pulling both of those worlds together and maybe one minute when you smell it you're gonna smell a little bit more of the cake and then the next breath you're like oh now it's a little bit more of the pineapple and they just kind of like play off each other with the sweet tart thing and just mm, chef's kiss but also like Childhood memory unlocked and childhood nostalgia plays a factor. Um, I picked that one up at TJ Maxx, I think, and Home Goods, because they usually will have them for like $16.99. Um, but the thing is with them is that like you never know what you're gonna get because it's always a freaking treasure hunt out there. Um, okay, so that's these. All right, we have four left. Um, this is Tiari Sunrise. Really, really like this one, um, despite all the trash that I've talked about tropical scents. But again, like, it just smells like if I went to, ooh, what's a fancy island that I can't afford to go to right now? Um, the first, I mean, I don't know, like Bali or somewhere, or like maybe, like, I don't know, like some remote tropical forest inhabited island like that's just what it smells like but it's holding back like it's not when you light it you smell it and it smells great it smells wonderful but it, it's not like it's not overpowering um because trust and believe if it's too much fruit too much flower too much tropical it's a no for me dog um let's see here oh oh okay so it has tiari flower honeysuckle jasmine vanilla and gardenia and so i know i just talked all that mess about florals but i really have a special place in my heart for jasmine and gardenia if there are any florals that that i mess with is them too is them too um all right so ooh, watch me drop all of these and be looking crazy um so <laughs> this is the infamous um farm stand um set that was on qvc and clearly once again i ordered a set but like that's the thing at qvc you have to order them well you don't have to well in tech, i mean they come in sets of two so it's like two of the strawberries and if you want the whole thing you gotta get two strawberries too so like technically it's not my fault it's qvc's fault for selling them that way but you know that's just the hill i'm gonna die on today um so so with these, I ordered them. I know I just said I'm not a super huge fruit person, but like you guys, when he re-released these, oh my goodness, the people on um, Instagram were like, oh my gosh, it's coming back. Like these are the best fruit candles ever. And so I was like, well, I mean, I'm curious if they're the best fruits ever, then like, I want to know. And <clears throat> I mean, it, it smells just like a patch of strawberries. It smells similar to the, um, what is it? Strawberry patch? Yeah, it smells similar to the strawberry patch, but the strawberry patch, I feel like has that coolness effect where it's not like really super fragrant and smack dab in your face. Um, and it just, like this one is like, not like here's these strawberries in your face. You at the farmer's market, I know you smelled them strawberries when you first came in, like, don't try to play. Go ahead, pay your little four dollars and move on. Um, but yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what it smells like. And this one, I mean, it, it smells like a fresh peach. Y'all, and I don't know what, I don't know what, I'm gonna try to keep this rant real, real, real tight, but I just don't understand what in the world is going on out here with these peaches because sometimes you smell a peach, um, a peach candle, and it's like, oh, it's nice. Like it smells like how I imagine a peach smells like this one. Sometimes you smell them and it's like, mm, it smells like a peach, but honey, that, that, 
that thing is ripe. Like if it would have sat out for about two more days, you would have woke up with mold everywhere. Like, and it's just like, why? Like, why? How do you make the peach smell funky? Like, help me understand. And then why would anyone want to smell that? Like, don't nobody want no musty peach? But yet they be making them. And it just, it just blows my mind. I don't, I don't know. I have to investigate and see like, what note or like what fragrant oil it is that's added to the little musty peaches and and figure it out because it just I don't know it blows my mind so I don't be out here trusting these peach scents because I'm like are you a fresh peach or are you a musty peach because if you musty you must stay at the store and you cannot come here um <laughs> let's see the last one is um farm stand blueberry and it's so funny because we actually have blueberries upstairs. And I mean, blueberries don't really smell like anything. And like this doesn't really smell super fragrant like the other two. It doesn't smell horrible, but I don't know. Uh, it could have it could have tried a little bit harder. Um, but what's funny is that <laughs> as I'm putting this mess up. Um the the blueberry thing is that I was reading online and it's like, oh, dogs can eat all these fruits. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, like my husband and I, like we need to pump up our fruit intake. Like we need to be out here eating healthy and stuff, you know, trying at least. Um, <laughs> and it was like, oh, your dogs can eat them, but like in moderation. Um, and it was like blueberries and cucumbers. And so my dumb self is like, Ooh, okay let's get some blueberries let's get some cucumbers bring them all home and wash them all up and then I chopped up the little cucumbers and tried to give them to Tuck Sterling and Winnie when I tell y'all them little heifers took it and they're like oh, okay like this is cute oh okay oh we, we see you trying to be all your healthy stuff but um no thanks we'll wait for the meat treats I was just like what in the heck they're not my dogs they're my husband's dogs because he loves eating meat um not that i'm like not a meat eater but he he's definitely the head carnivore in the family um so they're his dogs and sorry like for some reason <laughs> all of a sudden i started getting like choked up and stuff i'm like who let some pollen in here why why am i choking and coughing what is going on um, but anyhow, thank you so much for being patient and going through my uh, little homeworks collection with me. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If you uh, were possibly interested in picking up any homeworks candles, um, a quick tidbit is that uh, Nordstrom Rack also sells um, homeworks candles. Um, I think there, they're probably about like 24 or something like that. So you can get them at TJ Maxx Home Goods for about $16.99, uh, $16.99, $17.99. Who knows? At this point, they might be $18.99 with all this inflation. Um, <laughs> at Nordstrom Rack for about, I think like 25 bucks, um, just for one. And like, these are just for one. And then you can also purchase them off of the Homeworks website and you can also purchase them um, from QVC. And so, yeah, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for hanging out and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.